This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Now, that wasn't the original plan. It was supposed to be Jimmy Garvin and Bob Armstrong. We haven't spent a ton of time talking about Kendall. Any good Kendall Williams stories you can share with us? Kendall was a, you know, he was not a body guy. He was tall, but he was, you know, he was a good performer. And, uh, you know, he was one of those guys that you kind of figured, where does he fit? He's going to be somewhere in the, you know, underneath to in the middle somewhere. But, you know, he was a good performer. He had learned the business from his dad and from his brother. And uh, he was one of those guys, you know, I would put him in that Sam Houston, you know, spot. You could always get a good match out of him. The people liked him. You could beat the crap out of him, and they hated your guts for it. So he was good babyface. What was it that kept him from having the success that Barry did, do you think? Um having to follow in his dad and his brother's footsteps. He was always, I think, compared to the two. And Jack Mulligan was a monster. He was a beast. Barry, I don't have to tell you what Barry was. Barry was one of those top five performers that just could do it all. I don't know when we'll talk about Kendall again, but I'm sure some of our younger listeners would be shocked to hear that both he and his father, Blackjack Mulligan, were arrested in 1990, allegedly for counterfeiting. Uh, as the story goes, they found like half a million dollars in fake 20s or something like that. Ultimately, it gets down to a plea deal, and uh, both of these folks wind up spending 24 months in a federal prison. They get out in 1992. Super big scandal, especially if you were somebody who grew up watching Mid-Atlantic. Uh, did you ever hear any sort of rumblings that these guys were man, I got an idea type of thing, or did this just hit you out of left field like it did everybody else? Florida's. Florida's. Yeah, I never had any inkling about that. It was one of those things that I went, holy God, you know, I bet they're going to make an example out of these guys. And they did. How long, how long were they in prison? 24, 24 months. 24 months, buddy. I don't know if I could have, could have handled that. Yeah, rough deal to say the least. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.